there are four properties of matrix multiplication which you need to know. They are, if we take matrix A times B times C, then I can do this first by doing A times B times C, or I can do it as A times B times C, assuming that the orders match between all these, and if they do, then it'll work. So we'd have to have an M by O times an O by P times an a P by N, and we'd end up with an M by N matrix, because they match going across. And that'll be true all the way through, no matter what we do. Well, we can also distribute, but there's two rules for distributing that are really important, so you need to make sure you pay attention to this. If I distribute the matrix A through B plus C, this will be equal to AB plus AC, every time. But if I do this on the other side, A plus B times C, this is going to be equal to AC plus BC. So the part here that matters is that the order absolutely matters. Which one comes first has to be the one that comes first. So these are the first three. The last one deals with a scalar. If I have C, then I can first multiply A and B together. Or I could just multiply the A by C and then do the B. Or I can move the scalar around so it becomes C times B. So a scalar can move wherever it needs to be to make the problem easiest. But in multiplication, in matrix multiplication, order matters. AB does not equal BA. You cannot change the orders. So here, this would not be equal to A times C times B. This will result in a very different answer, if it's even possible, compared to doing it any of these ways. So the order of matrices cannot be changed. Once it is set, that is the order you have to stick to. Scalars, on the other hand, can move to wherever you need them to be.